Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are going to be making some frosting to decorate two different cakes, one for one of our friend's baby showers, as well as my cousin's daughter's first birthday party. So let's get to it. So if you are not new here, you probably remember that I recently made a like triple batch of vanilla cake because I knew I had my cousin's daughter's smash cake coming up, but also I have like another party coming up and Aubrey's birthday party coming up. So I just knew that if I made a bunch of these cakes, they would definitely be used. And I typically store my cakes in the freezer, whether I'm going to decorate them in a day or two or, you know, a couple weeks or even a month or two. So I prepped a bunch of four inch cakes, six inch cakes, as well as some cupcakes. And then on a different day, I actually also made some chocolate cake because I was asked by a friend to make her baby shower cake and they love chocolate. So I made a double batch so I would definitely have at least some batter left over for cupcakes that I could use for my daughter's sixth birthday party, which is coming up. But on this day, we're actually making two different kinds of frosting. We're going to be making some vanilla frosting as well as some chocolate frosting. We're going to start by making the vanilla frosting and then after that's done we're going to use the same bowl even though it's you know dirty let's say and we're going to make the chocolate frosting because the vanilla frosting has all of the same ingredients just sans cocoa powder so on this day i'm making a double batch of my vanilla frosting i'm using five sticks of butter and pretty much an entire bag of powdered sugar and then once that will be all nicely combined, we're going to add four teaspoons of vanilla and a little splash of heavy whipping cream until I get the consistency that I'm looking for. Now I was making this vanilla frosting to be the inside and outer decorations of my little smash cake, which isn't my typical size, it's much smaller. And then this vanilla frosting will be used just for the decorations and outer coating of my baby shower cake. This ended up being more than enough frosting for my two cakes, so I plan on using the leftover for a little experiment cake. I made some of my mom's apple bread recipe in cake form, so I may just end up adding some maple extract to the leftover frosting after I decorate my cakes and see if I like that flavor combination with my apple bread cake layers, or I will keep the vanilla frosting as is and just add some like caramel sauce in between the layers and see if that combination of like caramel and apple you know obviously goes well together maybe i'll see if i like that but i'm kind of getting ahead of myself once the frosting was at the consistency that i wanted i set aside just four tiny little scoops of it to be colored for the smash cake decorations and then i proceeded to make darker and darker shades of orange frosting by adding a few drops of orange food coloring mixing that in taking out one or two scoops and placing it on some saran wrap and then adding some more food coloring and mixing Mixing that until I had gotten all the way to the end and had the deepest orange that I was looking for. My goal for this baby shower cake was to have an ombre cake which went from dark orange on the bottom to white or very light orange on the very top and the way that I prepped this kind of like rolled up saran wrap frosting thing it ended up making it really easy to have the ombre look without really needing to blend the colors and have like really like a really chunky look to the cake. In the past, I may have tried to do just like four shades of orange to white. And then where I switch between colors, you kind of have to use a spatula and blend it together. But in my opinion, that really looks like extra chunky. And so this method I really actually liked because it made it really easy to create that ombre look. So as the butter is getting whipped up for my chocolate frosting, I am now adding some colors to the small little scoops that I took out at the very beginning. And I'm just coloring them green, yellow, purple, and pink to be some kind of floral decorations for the smash cake. I can't keep 
Now that the chocolate frosting has been bagged up, ready for the piping bags, we're gonna move on and make some chocolate ganache. I did about 150 grams of chocolate chips and around 100 grams of heavy whipping cream. Microwaved that for 30 seconds and then mixed it until it was smooth. Then it was time to assemble our baby shower cake. I took out my frozen chocolate cake layers and did a chocolate cake layer, some frosting. I made sure that there was like a nice little well for the chocolate ganache and then repeated that until I was done with the top sixth layer. This ended up looking a lot taller than my inspiration photo, but I wanted to have six layers so that when cutting it, you could cut like a full slice and then cut that in half or thirds so that everyone at the party could get, you know, a nice chunk of cake. Now it's worth noting that I made a little bit over one batch of my chocolate frosting and this made enough frosting to have a generous amount inside the cake as well as a crumb coat. I put this in the refrigerator to firm up before I do the outer coating decoration and we're going to be moving on to decorating our smash cake. Now this is for a baby so I didn't make you know super thick layers on the inside because let's be honest even adults don't need that much sugar. And once the cake was pretty much fully coated there is a little bit of space where it's a little naked but that's okay I'm going to be adding some flowers around there later. I did pipe on like a little border at the bottom and I thought that looked really cute. And I will be doing another border at the top after I get my flowers in place. I just took a little round tip and piped from the outside of the petal to the center of the flower to create little flowers all the way around the cake using pink and purple frosting. And then I used my yellow to create the little centers of the flowers. And with the green frosting, I'm just gonna be adding some little random leaves around the cake, not on every flower, but enough to give it some extra color. I had a really fun time at my cousin's daughter's birthday party. I really don't know. What do you say? First cousin once removed or something like that? I don't know all of the phrasing, but I enjoyed her birthday party. 
Unfortunately, it was like her nap time when it was like smash cake time, so she really wasn't having it, but everyone thought the cakes looked really nice, and I'm sure, you know, it was enjoyed at some point after the party. All right, we're going to be moving on to putting the outer layer of frosting on our baby shower cake. Like I mentioned before, my process of creating the ombre look ended up really working out and made it really easy to pipe on the outer layer of frosting for this cake. I did try a new scraping tool this time around. If you're not new here, you know I like to try just something new every time I do a cake. And unfortunately, I didn't get all of the air bubbles out of my frosting by like beating it on a low speed for a long time. And so when I was scraping the frosting away, it just kind of looked a little rough. It wasn't super smooth. But in the end, I think it worked out fine. One technique to make it look a little bit smoother was I heated up a wet towel and then used that to wipe down my scraping device so that it would be a little bit warmer and maybe like soften the buttercream creating a more smooth look. So here you can see I had a lot of vanilla frosting left over and this will be perfect for my little experimental cake that I will just, you know, give to my family as my taste testers sometime in the future. Now for this baby shower, I also made some mini chocolate chip conchas with vanilla topping and I did vanilla because it was a cutie party so everything was orange. And the party decorations were just too cute not to share with you guys. My friends did an amazing job on the party. So I just kind of feel really honored to be asked to help out with things like this. But that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this cake decorating video. If you like party preps and just kind of party themed videos, I will be having a lot more coming up. We'll do some clean with me to get ready for the party. Definitely a full on party prep. I try to go all out, but if you can't wait until like mid September for a party prep, I have a whole bunch on my channel. So make sure you guys check those out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. I would love it if you stick around and I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.